Hello, welcome to Crank Case. As you might have guessed from that sound and the picture on your screen, this is a video about cars. So let's dive straight into it. So this big blue piece of magnificence that you see on your screen is a Rolls-Royce boat team. It's one of the most exclusive cars from one of the most exclusive car makers. And see, so now Rolls-Royce always believes in being the ultimate, you know, I know it sounds like a BMW, which it is because it's owned by BMW, but it is the ultimate driving machine, just the epitome of luxury. So Rolls-Royce believes in complete authenticity and being exquisite in every way. And the boat tail is apparently a four year collaboration with just three of their most special clients. So every Rolls-Royce client is special because it's a Rolls-Royce client. And out of those, there are three people who are extremely special to them. And this car is being made only for those three people. This is the most limited edition of limited editions. It is three cars. And obviously now, if a customer is going to buy this kind of a car from Rolls-Royce, they're going to be extraordinarily demanding. And to meet this demand, Rolls-Royce has reached a decision to return to one of their historical roots. That is, they have brought back the coach build, right? What used to be a whole art form of coach building of building a entire car around a chassis they they brought it back with this car and basically coach build provides the freedom to move beyond their usual constraints of so, you know like a phantom if you get a phantom you get a phantom and then interiors everything is customizable literally everything but it is still a phantom but in the case of coach build you can make the car whatever you want it to be so now these three cars would share a common body but then each of them would be individually extremely personalized. So in this release, so Rolls-Royce, all they talk about is how exclusive and exquisite this thing is. So there is no specs, there is no engine capacity. The only thing they say that the car is 5.8 meters long, which is about 20 feet, which is huge. It's almost like a small bus, but they don't mention power. They don't mention engine capacity. It's all, I mean, would you even expect to learn the zero to hundred time of this kind of a car. I mean, look at it. It's basically a billionaire's boat that can be driven on the road. You don't ask for specs. And again, speaking of billionaires, so the price is speculated to be anywhere between 25 and 28 million dollars for each. And this this car is like that, right? It, it marks a sense of occasion and people would turn around to look at it. People would turn around for a standard Rolls Royce. I mean, and imagine if this thing drives by, even Rolls Royce owners would turn around and look at it. It is that exclusive. And you know, Rolls Royce cars have these umbrellas in their doors when you get out of the car and it's raining and you obviously shouldn't get wet because you're very important, right? Even the Rolls Royce, they're like, you still need to get out of the car, pull the umbrellas out of the door and then hold it above your head with your own hands, which is not luxurious. So the boat tail simply has a, it doesn't have an umbrella, it has a parasol at the back, which rises telescopically out of this boat looking back end, just rises up and goes there. It's zero effort, basically. And speaking of the back end of this car, basically they've given it a thermal blanket kind of a thing. So it controls how much heat is absorbed into this part of the car at the back because Rolls-Royce say that it should not adversely affect the contents of this suite, which could include food, liquids, and of course, champagne. These are Rolls-Royce's words. These are not my words. And the hosting suite, as it is called, is just totally sealed. And they've tested it from like minus 20 to 80 degrees Celsius. And whatever food you put in it, which could be any cuisine, it will stay intact. It will stay proper like that. I mean, this is like a different level of luxury. So this car also has, so just for this back end, they've had to develop five electronic control units, five ECUs separately just for the back end of this car to control all these mechanisms, to control that umbrella parasol thing, to control the heat, heat management. And these were all specifically bespoke designed for this car. It has a 15 speaker. Again, all Rolls Royce cars have bespoke audio, but this has even more exquisite audio which was intended only for this car. And the space frame architecture of this car has been used so that even the floor of this car vibrates according to the music that you're playing and it gives you a whole sense of incredible sound. And imagine your car floor and everything vibrates to just, you know, amplify the bass. So this car is simply exquisite to look at. 
I am sure it will be exquisite to drive. Not that we are ever going to get to drive one of these things, but I'm sure it is going to be exquisite to drive. And well, yeah, for twenty-eight million dollars, it better keep your food hot. So anyway, that's about it. I hope you found this video informative because obviously this is not consumer advice, but we might have some of that in the future as well. So stay tuned. See you soon.